Elements of Inspiration's 2012 collection by Nun Design includes exciting new pendants that are channel beads. They can be used for paper wrapping or with the epoxy clay. Here is a project using the collage sheets and the new channel beads and gel de soleil. What you'll need for this project is the channel bead, a collage sheet, the Nun Design glue, gel de soleil, and the UV lamp. The first step is trimming out your collage sheet. I've already trimmed my collage sheet out. Then, using your channel bead, test to see that your collage sheet fits snugly inside of the channel bead you'll have a little bit of an overlap at the end. The next step, you're going to use the Nun Design glue and you're going to paint a thin coat into the base of the channel bead. So using your paintbrush, load a little bit of the glue and start to paint a thin coat all over the base of the channel bead. You're even going to want to come to the sides and get that 90 degree angle inside of there. Once your piece is fully glued and you've double checked that you have a nice amount even on those 90 degree angles, you're going to start to wrap your collage sheet. Pull it taut so that you don't have any wrinkles and then just start to wind it like a spool of thread. At the end, you'll keep that overlap open and using your paintbrush, put another thin strip right on that base. Squeezing it and closing it up, squishing out any of that excess glue. I use the base of my paintbrush to burnish that paper down into position. It's really important to paint a thin coat of the Nun Design glue over the surface of the porous material. Paper will absorb the gel de soleil and discolor the paper and run the inks. So by putting another coat over the top, I'm protecting the paper and basically laminating the image. Nun Design Glue is a silicon paste based glue that allows you to put a thin coat only one time. It'll be milky white at first, but within 20 minutes it'll dry clear. Again, I'm making sure that I have the glue even in the edges and the corners, making sure that the piece is fully protected. This piece has already been dried. I find that I get best results when I let this dry at least overnight. We don't want to have any moisture in the piece when we put the gel de soleil over the top of it. Gel de soleil is a single part epoxy and it hardens when it's exposed to UV light. In the next step, I poured a little bit of the gel de soleil out onto a piece of plastic. And using my paintbrush, I'm going to just dip it into the gel de soleil and paint a thin coat over the channel bead. It's best to work in a ventilated area because the gel de soleil does have a slight odor. Once you've painted your full piece with the gel de soleil, you're going to put it inside of the UV lamp to cure. It takes about 20 minutes for the piece to fully cure. I like to use my paintbrush, insert it into the center and just roll it around for about a couple of minutes. I'll come back throughout the time of the 20 minutes and roll it around, just making sure that all sides have been fully exposed to the UV light. After 20 minutes, your piece should be cured. So pull it out, and that is your finished piece. 
Using the elements of inspiration chain, I've assembled a necklace and I'm going to go ahead and thread my chain through the channel pendant bead and move it down into position using my needle nose pliers to close off my jump ring. And now I have my final project. Here's some other finished pieces using different techniques with the channel beads. This piece here, I did all the same steps, but I didn't put the gel de soleil over the top of it. I just did the non-design glue and was done. This piece here is using the crystal clay and chitons 